Hi, this is part 2 of GATE 2022 question paper. Here we will go through numerical problems. For theoretical questions, please watch part 1. So let's start with the first question. In question 126, we need to find out the polydispersity of a polymer containing two types of monodispersed polystyrene samples. As we know, the polydispersity of a polymer is a ratio of weight average molecular weight and number average molecular weight. Formulas to calculate weight average and number average molecular weight are shown here. In order to calculate weight and number average molecular weight, we need number of chains with specific molecular weight. Here, respective weight of polymer and molecular weight of polymer is given. From the weight, we can calculate the moles of chains present in 5 gram of first sample and 15 gram of another sample. If we need to calculate the exact number, then we need to multiply moles with Avogadro number. But for this question, moles is fine. So now we have both number and weight average molecular weight. So we can simply put these numbers in the formula and calculate weight and number average molecular weight. And finally, by taking the ratio, we can find the polydispersity index, which is 1.09. In this question, we need to calculate the relaxation time of a polymer sample. Based on the Maxwell model, the relaxation time of a polymeric material can be represented by this equation. Basically, relaxation time is the ratio between sample viscosity and sample modulus. Both viscosity and modulus values are given. We can simply put these values in the equation and calculate the relaxation time. But before we use them, we have to make sure that they are in similar units. Now putting these values in the equation, we can calculate relaxation time, which is in days. And that is 2.3 days. In question 128, we need to calculate the thermal conductivity of a glass fiber composite. This can be simply calculated using the rule of mixture equation. As volume conductivity of individual components are given, we can simply put these values in the equation and calculate thermal conductivity of the composite, which is 0.73. In this question, we need to calculate the strain value of a glass fiber reinforced polyester composite. Since stress value is given, this equation become very simple as we can calculate the strain by simply dividing stress by the composites modulus. Composites modulus can be calculated by rule of mixture. As elastic modulus, volume fraction of fiber and polymer is given, we can simply put these values in the equation and calculate the composite modulus. Once we have the modulus value, we can divide stress with this number to find the strain value, which is 2.23 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3. So the answer is 2.23. This is a very common question in GATE. Here we need to calculate the amount of plasticizer required to reduce the glass transition temperature of nylon sample from 50 degree Celsius to 30 degree Celsius. To solve this question, we need to use Fox equation, which is shown here. Since glass transition temperature of plasticizer, nylon's initial and final glass transition temperature is given, we just need to put these values in the equation to calculate the weight fraction of plasticizer. But we must make sure to convert temperature from Celsius to Kelvin. Now we can put these values in the equation and after simplification we can see that addition of 12.78% plasticizer will reduce the glass transition temperature of nylon from 50 degree Celsius to 30 degree Celsius. In the question 131, 
we need to find the loss in crystallinity of a polymeric material in 5 years. The enthalpy of initial and 5 year old sample is given. The enthalpy of 100% crystalline sample is also given which is very important to calculate the percent crystallinity. Now by using this formula and enthalpy value we can calculate crystallinity of new and 5 year old sample. The percent crystallinity of new sample is 46.76% and percent crystallinity of 5 year old sample is 41.38%. So the difference between the two is 5.38% which is the lost in percent crystallinity over 5 years. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any question or doubt, please contact us. All the best.